Now, but don't worry, some will say, as President Trump will be surrounded by smart advisors who will rein in his worst impulses. So when a tweet gets under his skin and he wants to retaliate with a cruise missile, maybe cooler heads will convince him not to. Well, maybe. But look at who he's put in charge of his campaign. Trump likes to say he only hires the best people. But he's had to fire so many campaign managers, it's like an episode from The Apprentice. <laughs> latest shakeup was designed to, quote, let Trump be Trump. So to do that, he hired Stephen Bannon, the head of a right-wing website called Breitbart.com, as the campaign CEO. Now, to give you a flavor of his work, here are a few headlines they've published. And I'm not making this up. <laughs> Birth control makes women unattractive and crazy. Would, your, would you rather your child had feminism or cancer? Oh. Gabby Giffords, the gun control movement's human shield. Oh. Hoisted high and proud, the Confederate flag proclaims a glorious heritage. And that one came shortly after the Charleston massacre when Democrats and Republicans alike were doing everything they could to heal racial divides that Breitbart and Bannon tried to inflame. Just imagine Donald Trump reading that and thinking, this is what I need more of in my campaign. Now Bannon has nasty things to say about pretty much everyone. This spring he railed against Speaker Paul Ryan for, quote, rubbing his social justice Catholicism in my nose every second. No wonder he's gone to work for Trump, the only presidential candidate ever to get into a public feud with the Pope. <laughs> it's truly, it's truly hard to believe, but according to the Southern Poverty Law Center, which tracks hate groups, Breitbart embraces ideas on the extremist fringe of the conservative right. This is not conservatism as we have known it. This is not republicanism as we have known it. These are racist ideas, race-baiting ideas, anti-Muslim, anti-immigrant, anti-women, all key tenets making up the emerging racist ideology known as the alt-right. Now, alt-right is short for alternative right. The Wall Street Journal describes it as a loose but organized movement, mostly online, that rejects mainstream conservatism, promotes nationalism, and views immigration and multiculturalism as threats to white identity. So the de facto merger between Breitbart and the Trump campaign represents a landmark achievement for this group a fringe element that has effectively taken over the Republican Party. And this is part of a broader story, the rising tide of hardline right-wing nationalism around the world. Just yesterday, one of Britain's most prominent right-wing leaders, a man named Nigel Farage, who stoked anti-immigrant sentiments to win the referendum to have Britain leave the European Union, campaigned with Donald Trump in Mississippi. Farage has called for a bar on the children of legal immigrants from public schools and health services, has said women are, and I quote, worth less than men, and supports scrapping laws that prevent employers from discriminating based on race. That's who Donald Trump wants by his side when he is addressing an audience of American voters.